Good evening, brothers and sisters. Let us all kneel and together we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Horatio Imperata, imploring protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed to made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Please all rise for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Today is the 19th Sunday in ordinary time. Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Vic Capacible. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, my sisters and brothers who are online. We thank God for this celebration. I wonder what happened to our choir. The <laughs> mute, the mute, yung ating choir. For the last two Sundays, we spoke of Jesus, the bread of life. Today, also, until next Sunday, it is about the bread of life. Jesus, the bread of life. We joyfully begin our celebration in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For being with you. And with your spirit. We, we call to mind our sins and experience the love and mercy of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, <laughs> whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may marry to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. 
and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats with this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? We do not know, do we not know his father and mother? How then can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring. Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come down to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of eternal life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. But it is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening, my sisters and brothers. For those who are streaming from a different time zone, no, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, we thank God for the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Uh, we thank God for the reminder of Jesus, the bread of life. But next Sunday pala is the Assumption, uh, August 15. That is why we will celebrate the Feast of the Assumption. Uh, so there will no be no more bread of life discourse. But today we will hear, uh, we will continue to hear. Remember when the Israelites left Egypt, they were wandering in the desert and they were complaining, we are dying of hunger, we are dying of thirst. So uh, Moses went to Yahweh and then asked, like the people are complaining, murmuring, murmuring and murmuring. So the following day said, do not worry. The following day, manna came down from heaven. The word manna 
uh, I forget exactly if it, if what word it comes from. But the word mana means, uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, every morning, may bumabagsak na mana tinapay mula sa langit every day. So what is this? The word mana means what is this? So wow, so every day they had food. They were giving, they were being food. Wow, salamat sa Diyos. What a miracle. Every day there was food that came down. Remember, they were wandering in the desert for 40 days, uh, 40 years. So they will die if we will not be fed. So that is why mana came down from heaven. So they survived with mana. Until one day, they were saying, they were murmuring again. Ano ba naman to? Mana. Uh, imbis na, what is this? It will delight. Yeah. Ano ba naman? Ngayon, sa, ang, ang, they, they use mana again. Mana. What is this? Ito na naman? Mana. Ano pa to? Parang ganyan. The same word, what is, what is this? This time, what is this? Ano ba naman ito? Kaya parang, you can't win. Lahat tayo angal ng angal. Lahat ng we will keep murmuring, whatever is in front of us, angat, angat tayo ng angat. When we see blessings, then you will say, what is this? Naging ordinary na. Kaya, the, the word mana, is a, this is what it means. What is this? With the question mark, with the exclamation point, or what is this? Because galit ka. Ano ba ito? Ano bang pagkain ito? Samang-sama na kami dito. Itong lockdown na ito, maraming wala makain, wala puros, walang gumagalaw, baka mabay, puro sardinas, alam na sardinas. Nauway na kami sa sardinas. Pero salamat sa Diyos meron kaysa sa wala. So let us continue to thank God for the, the continuous feeding given us. As we thank Jesus for the bread of life. Uh, napakahalaga. Ang, ang, uh, I will ask you, no, I will ask all of you, uh, I wonder how many of us say prayers before meals. I'm sure all of us, siguro mga 80 90% say prayer before meals. How many of us say prayer after meals? Napaka konti. What can we do in order for us to also remind to say pasalamat after? Lagi tayo nagpapa, like before, okay. But after, wala, kulang na kulang. Nung, kaya ang ginagawa ko ngayon, nag-alarm lang ako eh. Ang tatinatansa ko, yung pagkain ko, siguro, uh, ilang minuto, Mag-alarm lang ako para sigurado pagkatapos kung sakaling mag-alarm para maging habit. Magpasalamat tayo bago at pagkatapos. Uh, sana huwag tayo makalimot magpasalamat rin pagkatapos ng ano, meal. I do not know what other way you have to put a reminder kung kailangan mo maglagay lang kung ano kailangan mo ilagay para mapaalalahan na uh, magpasalamat. Kung hindi, nakakahiya naman sa Panginoon Diyos. Pero hindi naman nagtatapos sa pagpanalangin before and after para sana ito yung naglakas para tayo humayo at ipalaganap ng mabuti balita. To share, especially during this pandemic, napakahalaga na magbahagi tayo. Um, may uh, two more points to share about Jesus the bread of life uh, as we are given, as we say this every day. Give us this day. Every time we say that our Father, we pray for our daily bread. Bigyan mo kami ngayon aming mga kanin sa araw-araw. Pagkain araw-araw. We ask for the bread daily. Merong kasabihan, we say, uh, we pray one day at a time. One day at a time. Kasi kung yung grasya, eksakto lang para sa araw na ito. Yung grasya, hindi para sa nakalipas, tapos na yun eh. Baka dala-dala natin yung mga galit natin sa nakalipas, problema natin sa nakalipas. Your gracia is for today. Exacto na yung gracia na release para sa araw na ito. Hindi para sa nakalipas, tapos na yun. Huwag mo na balikan yan. At ganyan din, hindi naman para sa gracia na dadating in the future. No, may may gracia na kapaloob sa future, sa ibang araw. Ang gracia bibigay sa'yo ng Diyos, give us this day our daily bread para sa araw na ito. Hindi para sa past tense, hindi para sa future tense, kundi para sa araw na ito ngayon. Kaya nga sana namnamin natin, no? give us this day, our daily bread. Yung panalangin natin, sana matanggap natin mismo ngayon na. Sapat na sapat saan, huwag tayo humingi ng grasya para sa, it does not exist. 
humingi ka ng grasya para sa next month, baka mamaya bukas wala na. Baka mamaya wala na, wala nang buhay. Ano hindi hindi mo grasya diyan? Anong klaseng uh, storage ang ginagawa mo? Kasi araw-araw siya ang bahala para sa atin. Patuloy tayo humingi ng grasya para talaga daily bread, umasa tayo sa divine providence. Siya ang bahala. As the responsorial sa would say, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Lastly, uh, there was a I, wow, this is 1920, but he said this eh, a boxer named uh, Jack Dempsey when he won the world champion, he was heavyweight champion of the world. He was a big, big champion. And then when he got back to his room, he said, is this it? Is this what it means to be world champion, to be gold, the best? For us who have achieved some sort of achievement, gold, para wow, matanggap ko na yung gold. For the Olympics, no, natanggap ko na yung gold. Natanggap ko na yung million-million na pinangarap ko. No? Natanggap ko na, is this it? Ito na ba ito? Ito na ba ito? Is this it? No? We will murmur. We will ne- it will never be enough. Nothing will ever satisfy us. Nothing will be. Pwede na, pwede na. Lagi tayo magbubulong and say, ito lang ba? Ito lang ba? Ito lang pala. This is what it means to be a champion. This is what it means to to uh, uh, to receive no? yung aking dream. If our dream is uh, of human origin and not what God wants for us, as Augustine will say, our hearts are restless until it rests in Him, then it will really, truly be restless. No amount of trophies, no amount of millions or billions, no amount of power, whether you're president of the Philippines, president of the world, it is not enough to quench that thirst. To be champion of the world is not enough. It will never be enough. Only Christ can satisfy that hunger. So as we pray for Jesus, the bread of life, we continue to celebrate uh, the, the Sunday as we are fed, not just by the body of Christ, not just by food, but from every word that comes from the mouth of God. May we relish the words that come from the mouth of Jesus to remind us of His love. May I invite you in your homes, in your respective homes, to now stand and together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God's love abounds for us. Let us now pray to God our Father to manifest His love for us as we plead to him with confidence and say, listen to your people, O Lord. Listen to your people, O Lord. For Pope Francis, Jose, our bishop, priests, and deacons, may they be faithful in their commitment to God and to his people. May they lead the church towards a deeper desire for eternal life, we pray. Listen to your people, O Lord. Lord. For government and civil leaders, may they be zealous in their work of justice and peace to achieve God's plan for the world, we pray. Listen to your people, O Lord. Against the pandemic, may the Lord heal and restore into wholeness 
all who are affected in any way by COVID-19. Let them all find comfort in God, we pray. Listen to your people, O Lord. For all the faithful, may we find sure hope and strength in our daily partaking of the Eucharist. May we live loving each other as brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray. Listen to your people, O Lord. For our departed loved ones, may the Lord embrace them and grant them joy in his eternal embrace, we pray. Listen to your Listen. people, O Lord. For the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass, for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Silence me to the petitions. Heavenly Father, we bring all our petitions, those deep in our hearts, those who ask for our prayers, again, for the pandemic, of course, those who are ill, those who are depressed, for the poor, those who have nothing, for those who are frontliners, for those who have lost their loved ones, once again, for those who have died. We bring our petitions, Almighty, and merciful Father, help us to multiply your graces to our good works and solidarity with those who suffer. May we be filled with your blessing necessary to bring service to our brothers and sisters to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to witness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given human hands have made. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray, my sisters and brothers, that we sacrifice in yours be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you've given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them to the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, for the Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and arrange the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise your mighty works through Jesus Christ. With the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered many into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all your saints, St. John Mary Vianney, St. Margaret Mary of the all who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, we pray to our loving Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Help each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the God of love, who heals and forgives. Humbled and blessed are we who are called to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Again, as we continue to celebrate Jesus the bread of life, may we not just be fed by bread, but from every word. Number one, a reminder. Number two, let us also, uh, as we receive this bread, share this to others, especially during this pandemic. We must share, and we must share. What use is this celebration if we do not share and just keep the bread for ourselves? Uh, it's another reminder. Again, also, let us be grateful for what we have. Let us not murmur and say, Ito na naman, ito na naman yung pagkain namin, ito na naman. Salamat, meron tayong gana, salamat, meron tayong pagkain, salamat sa lahat ng biyaya na binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon Diyos. And uh, maybe lastly, I do not know, buy for us or you you put in, 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 in FaceTime your comments how to remember to say our Thanksgiving prayer after every celebration. Hindi lang prayer before, but also after meals. They go hand in hand. Hopefully, these two prayers will help us before and after. Whatever prayer it is, many people forget the prayer after meals. But just the same, we hope to say it, whatever kind of reminder you will help. As I mentioned earlier, ako alarm clock, ginagamit ko pagkatapos para sigurado, pang pagpasalamat rin. So whatever, whatever works, whatever works, uh, try to remind us uh, as we celebrate the goodness, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Do we have some announcements? No announcements? None, Again. Father. So we thank God for the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We celebrate Assumption next uh, next Sunday as we thank God for His blessings. Maybe we'll stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, come enter in our hearts. Fill them with your mercy and your eternal love. Most sacred heart of Jesus, come enter in our lives, that we may be enlightened, in life's journey be guided. O oh, sacred heart, most sacred heart, have mercy on us. Oh, sacred heart, 